In other news, Lesotho Prime Minister Mwakezi Majoro says the security sector in Lesotho must be allowed to do its work without fear of favor. In an exclusive interview with SABC foreign editor Sophie Mukwena, Majoro says he will work hard to unite Basotho and to ensure that the coalition government is united. He's, however, raised concerns that the COVID-19 pandemic that has affected countries around the world will have ne negative uh, impacts on the economy of Lesotho. What measures are you going to put in place as head of government to ensure that the police, the army, they do their work without fear or favor? Our history is full of this... Uh interference by politicians with the security forces. Uh, 54 years of independence, the security forces have been uh, directly involved in pushing either side or the other side, and have not automatically been loyal then to our constitution and the responsibilities that are set out in our constitution. What... Uh, uh, I would like to, to congratulate the leadership of the Lesotho Defense Force, the leadership of the police and of uh, other security services for making very strenuous attempts to say outside our politics. There were attempts to politicize them, but they pushed back very strongly against that. So. This transition that has taken place is also uh, has also been possible because of the professional uh, stand that uh, the police and the uh, army took. So they should be con congratulated for that. But the the job is not done as yet. Remember, in through our entire history, the polit the politicians have uh, abused as, as as you indicated. Yeah, the security forces and security forces have then become victims. As we speak, there are, there's close to 40 soldiers in jail uh, as a result of having uh, or allegedly undertaken a criminal act at the behest of, of the uh, politicians. So the question is, how long will this history repeat itself? So if there's to be an accountability, which the army personnel are now going to account, should they be the only ones that are account, or we should create a climate that creates fears also into politicians to uh, politicize these security forces? Because that itself is not in in in, in national uh, interest. So we need to find a formula of pushing back on politicians. I think the security forces uh, seem to be committed to doing that now. It's not an easy job. Infiltration by politicians is very easy to do. Dividing the security forces is very easy to do, but uh, I'm quite happy that the leadership were able to do that. But now the, the question, the issue must be for politicians. How do we self-govern? How do we self-regulate to avoid uh, politicizing the uh, security forces? And this is a lesson that we must do. We have a reform process that is, uh, uh, that I hope in the next six months will be completed by the National Reform Authority. And one of the outcomes of that reform process is to uh, bring forward uh, formats and etiquette that will encourage politicians to play the political game amongst political peers and not to involve the, uh, the security forces. So my, uh, I'm going to uh, um, try to and lobby around all the players to say, no, leave the police alone, leave the army alone. But also we are going to throw the compass. We are going to create safeguards that would uh, punish uh, uh, overt attempts to politicize the security force. The judiciary has been found wanting on many occasions. And uh, recently the high-profile cases uh, where the allegations are leveled against the former prime minister and the former first lady. And people are saying, looking at the judiciary and who appointed uh, those who are leading the judiciary right now, they don't trust the judiciary in Lesotho. What's your view as head of government? I, I, I can concede that the judiciary 
was already uh, weak by their own admission. And the judiciary was seeking as much independence as they, they could uh, muscle. And then the problems of my own party, ABC, and we did a lot then to uh, add confusion into a process that was already uh, weakened. So you can see now we have created a situation where uh, few people trust that justice can be served fairly. But without justice, there can never be peace. And so the judiciary is a critical arm in the fight to establish, to stabilize the political environment and so to end, to seek and attain peace. It is therefore critical that we are told, we recognize what we have done, and then we work with the judiciary through the uh, reform process to create uh, a believable level of uh, uh, independence and trust. So the task is to restore uh, the credibility of the judiciary. This uh, is not going to be a very difficult task. We all agree, it must have been, we all agree uh, that our acts have done much to, um, to undermine the independence of the judiciary. It's also a number one priority that we are uh, looking at as, as a new government.